Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about The Conjuring 2, directed by James Wan. And let me just say, I am so happy that James Wan is back directing horror movies. He wanted to take a reprieve, he wanted to spread his wings, he wanted to try another genre. He directed the last Fast and Furious movie, which was very successful. But now he's come home, he's directing The Conjuring 2, and if you were on the fence about James Wan's status on the short list of incredibly talented filmmakers who are making horror movies today, The Conjuring 2 cements the fact that he is at the top of that very short list. Now, the only real concern that I had walking into The Conjuring 2 was, has the spook house genre kind of run its course? Has that well run dry since Insidious, which James Wan created what I like to call the spook house movie, these kinds of movies, Insidious, Sinister, yada, yada, yada. But here recently we've had a lot of really mundane, mediocre sequels and spinoffs. I'm talking about Sinister 2, Insidious Chapter 3, Annabelle, that I kind of felt like there was no new ground to tread. And The Conjuring 2, it tread some already treaded ground, but it proves that suspense, tension, scares, they're all the more when they involve characters that you legitimately care about, that you legitimately are behind, and that you legitimately feel, they feel grounded in reality. And that's the thing I want to stress about The Conjuring 2. It is a character-driven horror film. And at the very heart of it are um, Vera Formiga and Patrick Wilson, who play Ed and Lorraine Warren, um, the, the much-studied, <laughs> much-talked-about, um, uh, at times much-ridiculed uh, paranormal investigators who were in the original Conjuring film, but I felt like in this movie, it just, it opened them up so much. Uh, you know, we know they're paranormal investigators, but in this film, we got to know who they were, I think, really, as human beings, and as a married couple, and as parents. And they have so many just sweet moments in the film. There's so many really well-written just character moments between those two that just ground them in reality and just make you really, really like them and really, really root for them. So when they're thrown in this, you know, this sort of spook house movie where, you know, it, it's difficult to tread a lot of new ground, even if they're thrown into a, a kind of a familiar scenario, you're invested, you're right there with them, you're concerned because you really like them. And the family in the film, who is beset with all this evil activity, particularly the little girl, and her name escapes me at the moment, just gave a phenomenal performance. She was amazing in this film, I thought. Just her range as an actress, her emotions, just so good. And, and her as well, I mean, you just loved her from the moment go. You just felt behind her from the moment go. So when she was put in, again, these sort of, you know, well-tread kind of, um, you know, perils, you were right there with her. It was white knuckle. You were, you were tense. You know, the suspense was high. Um, now, and, and, and I'm not trying to take anything away from the film. Uh, the film is exceptionally well-made. It's very well-written. The atmosphere is there. The mood is there. Yes, there's some well-tread ground <laughs> that we're treading again in The Conjuring 2, but it shows just how well a film, how, how well James Wan is as a filmmaker in his ability to set up these sequences, throw a curve at you here and there, even hit you with a jump scare. There's jump scares in this movie, but the jump scares have weight. They're not just throwaway fake you know, jump scares. Like, hey, we've gone five minutes in this movie without something. Let's turn down the soundtrack and let's have a cat jump through the window or let's, you know, just some other random, cheap, throwaway jump scare. 
all the scares in this movie carry weight because they involve characters that you genuinely care about. Now this is like a two hour and 14 minute film. So this is a pretty epic horror movie. Lots of characters, a good amount of character development, lots of scares, great atmosphere, great music. Um, that it never felt, the pacing just felt perfect for me. Um, yes, it's a long film, but the, it didn't feel like a long movie. Uh, the character development that we got didn't feel tacked on. It didn't feel like it's there just to pad out the running time. It felt like it was there for a purpose, to ground these characters in reality and make you care about them and want them to overcome in the end. So when that moment happens, you know, you feel like you're right there with them, that you've overcome with them. Um, there's some great effects in the movie, so, so, some, great, uh, um, some great practical makeup effects in the movie. There's this demon nun in the movie that just looks really freaky. I can see a lot of people dressing as that for Halloween this year. They do a lot of great gags with her or it or whatever you want to call it. One in particular involving a painting uh, of the demon nun. Really well done. Um, some nice curveballs thrown in there as well. I mean, I think, you know, James Wan knows, you know, this is the second Conjuring movie. There's been a lot of these Spook House movies. So let's kind of throw a little curves in there and, uh, you know, keep the viewers on their toes. Uh, but I can't stress. The thing that I love the most about the movie were the characters. And Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, uh, the young lady who played uh, the young girl beset with all the the evil, um, phenomenal performances. Really, everyone in the film gave just a really, really strong performance. And um, I mean, my kudos to James Wan for taking the time to build these characters instead of just, oh, let's just get to the scares. Let's just get to the scares and let's just scare people and let that be that. Um, great performances, great characters, really well written, really well made, really well edited, great score um lots of lots of very very effective moments in the film um my knee-jerk reaction is to want to say that the conjuring 2 is better than the original conjuring and i like the original conjuring quite a bit but i don't want to necessarily say that i want to say it's at the very it's it's a very worthy successor that is at the very least just as good as the original conjuring i don't know if i want to go that far and say that it's better than The Conjuring because I've not actually seen The Conjuring in its entirety in probably a year or so. So I probably want to go back and rewatch it again before I make a bold statement like that. But at the very least, it's just as good <laughs> as the original Conjuring. And like I said, my knee-jerk reaction is to say that it's better. But um, I'll, I'll just for the sake of this review say it's just as good as the first Conjuring. If you've not seen The Conjuring 2, by all means, go out, check it out. <laughs> you just go see it. If you've seen The Conjuring 2, please let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.